he put my family and I through so much emotional pain these last few months. <laughs> Mesa sitting in his little bumbo. We're having little playtime. We're gonna play sorry. I swear to God, our beats is here. I made the kids breakfast this morning. I'm a true story. This is what happened. I made the kids breakfast this morning. They eat breakfast, and then I realized I'm super hungry. And I was like, Mace is gonna get up and like, ooh, look at her. Mmm. Like Paul Badon. The kids eat their whole breakfast, and then I decide I'm hungry. Like I'm like, my stomach is growling. I go and make breakfast. I go to make um, toast with cream cheese for myself. It's done, I cut it, I walk over here to get it, and Ayla looks at me and goes, can I have a piece? And I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. And then Law. So I give her half of my toast, and then Law comes up and is like, I want one. And I'm like, okay. So I was just over it. I was like, you know what, whatever, over it, eat my food. They always do it. I come walking over here. Tamaya was playing in all this. I have it on these stairs, and Tamaya was pulling it all down. I noticed this, and I picked it up, and on the back it says free pizza with this code. Free pizza. It's like 10.30. I'm so excited for this, it hurts. It hurts. Good morning. So my sister has all the kids in the car, and Mace was the last, because we are actually gonna drive down the road. I don't know how to say this without saying it. My brother has been at a treatment center. I know I've talked about this before, but it is, must be a little confusing to a lot of you guys. He's been there for about seven weeks, I think this program was, and that's all I'm gonna say about it, really. Um, he's been in He's been in a few and, you know, he's left or he's had to leave or just situations have came about. It's been a really just tough year on my family. One thing that I always do talk about is the closeness my brother and I were. So I used to be super, super close with my brother the same way I am with my sister. And today he gets out of one of his programs um, and my mom is actually going to surprise him right now with a plane ticket. He's gonna get a plane ticket to go live with my grandparents um, in their town. So he has line, he has work set up and you know he has a new path set up for him that my mom has been working really hard to get him into different things and he has no idea. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record or I want to feel comfortable recording. Um, but pretty much we are going to go surprise him. But he really doesn't know anything. He doesn't know that we planned to come as well. Look at my kitchen. It was spotless this morning. Life, life with so many cakeies. A lot of a lot. We're gonna play. Put your shoes on. You got your shoes? Let me see you. Got your mask. Hey, your shoes. Tao had a really rough day and there's nothing funny about the situation that we're about to talk about <laughs> but we're gonna try to make the most light of the situation because there's only so much that we can actually really talk about yeah oh my god okay I'm <laughs> it was an easy poll my little brother you know he suffers with a lot of things on his own and that's his own private business he's made really bad choices the last few years and 
you know, as a family, we really tried to all give our 100% to help him. And a few months ago, he dropped a bomb on me, something that I've been dealing with when I, since I've been pregnant, that literally altered my entire, like, my entire perspective right. on something, okay? Like, it totally... He dropped some news on me that I thought I could never recover. I've been struggling with this. It's almost like I have nightmares about it. It's just the most awful thing. And um, he recently just went into the treatment. As you guys saw this morning, we celebrated. We surprised him to congratulate him of spending, um, you know, was it a month? He was in this 30-day treatment. It was his first one ever that he completely completed. And when he got out... And he was sober he pretty much explained that the bomb he dropped on us a few months ago that has literally been ruining my insides not really because I'm a strong mama that can take anything and everything that comes my way I've seen it all but this was like at the top of my list of bizarre things I've had to deal with and when he recent a few hour a few hours ago he pretty much sat in my kitchen and told me that it was a lie and he said that to pretty much manipulate us to get his way um, in whatever that may be. Many things. Um, and in a way, I'm relieved for sure, 100%. But in a way, I'm grieving now, right now, the loss of like my little brother. Like it's, it's like you don't, he's now... How do I say this? He put my family and I through so much emotional pain these last few months, you know, that I've been dealing with privately and, you know, trying to stay strong for the kids and not let them deal with any of it or hear it. So I'm doing lots of, you know, going outside and just kind of like having therapy vent sessions with my sister about it all. And I'm so sorry, it's so vague and it's so irritating, but I think, and it's none of my business to share this and it's none of your business to hear this, but I think that what, I think my issue here, and why I feel like I want to talk about it, is it affected me and I learned a lesson, like I feel like I learned the biggest lesson of my life and that's what I do here on this channel is I come on, I make videos and I inspire you guys and hoping that you guys could take similar situations that I deal with in life and kind of make it into your own situation that no matter what happens, like we are gonna pick ourselves up and we're gonna have a good day for our kids and we're gonna make the best life for ourselves. And so I come on here and I give these fast, like on my Instagram this morning, this fast little motivational, you know, kind of giving you guys some information on what I dealt with but at the same time keeping it very vague and I forget that I have like this real connection with you guys that now you guys are invested you guys want to know what's going on so that's kind of why I just gave as much information as I just did um, because it does affect me and I feel like it's only fair for you guys to watch today and know that it started off so good and great like we thought we we're going to show up and surprise him to congratulate his accomplishments. And instead, when we showed up, he was so upset that we were even there because he had other plans to go do his business. Um, and it's just so unfortunate because it's your brother. It's my brother. And it's I, we would do anything to help him. And I had a realization today that I no longer could help him. And the person that I think my brother is he is no longer that person it's a false reality I had that bomb drop on me and I thought for sure hundred percent this could explain what you know he's been going through and this we had a better insight of why it's everything is so problematic with him and then to find out it was all a lie and how many people he hurt for this lie and my mental health and just my altering reality of perspective of my life 
it's just I can't believe I allowed someone to do that so I think the lesson here the, there's so many lessons I learned one is I don't care how close you are to someone like always guard and protect yourself and never let you fail like does that make sense like when I say never let me fail because I mean it in the aspect of like three months ago when I sat there crying I was so 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 just sad for my brother and it was all fake and I wasted that night crying for no reason that never happened like none of this happened to me personally I truly didn't know the truth I was just listening to someone else and I allowed it to affect my night to make me so so sad that night so if one thing I could take out of this and I learned is you know it's just you'll always get over it so if you're having a bad night like don't just sit and sulk like just wait it out give it a few days few months at this point and be strong for yourself because th myself when I was pregnant a few months ago didn't deserve that at all and it was oh, like yeah. I was the only one that was played or me and my family in this situation so it's unfortunate and I was having a good day and then like I ended the conversation it's like a oh, I ended the conversation with you need to leave like that's how much I had no idea who I was talking to anymore and him completing this program and being good good if that makes sense if you can catch my drift and him still being the same old person it's just I'm the only one living in a fantasy of who he was and so it just he's always my brother and I'm always gonna love him but for now I need to be a mom of a newborn and a toddler and a three-year-old and a five-year-old and worry about my own things and I was dealing this I was dealing with this pregnant and it was just it, that makes me the, the worst inside is knowing I was putting mace through this stress of me feeling just so sad for him and it was all just pretend it's just so crazy I, I can't get over it so it is. as I'm putting the kids to bed and we're about to put the older ones I hear a knock at the door and I go get it and something you guys I never there's so many things like you guys think you know my life <laughs> and there's so many things that go on that you just have no idea yeah Lily she's been struggling with her computer if you don't already know or you haven't noticed sometimes it takes her Days. Days. And it's hours just to upload a video. Can you check? I think the baby monitor just went off. It just alerted you. Every single video that has been going up these last few weeks has taken Pretty my computer months. over 10 hours to upload it. And sometimes it would take like 10 hours and something interrupted it and it would be stuck for a few hours until I had to restart it and then redo the whole 10 hours. So... We ordered a computer like the second day that I dealt with it. I was just like, my computer I have, I take really, 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 really good care of it. But five years, it is old, and Mac seems to screw you over when your computer is outdated and just decides, you know what, we're not gonna work for you anymore. We're gonna cut your internet off, and that's literally what they did because I have a perfectly working computer. It just doesn't connect. To the internet speed fast and we have good internet speed so it's just a lame so anyways I'm putting the babies to bed oh we hear a knock at the door and after a month of waiting it's my here. beautiful new computer is here and I really don't like nice things like this like this kind of bums me out that I had Moment. to buy it but I've been struggling with my computer for years, almost since I got it, because oh, of no. the memory. If you edit vlogs, you have about two hours of footage a day. And Kiko bought me my this computer for my 21st birthday. That other, my old one. Yeah, my, it was your 21st birthday, yeah. He bought me my laptop. I think you turned 21 and you lose. And it had like 150 gigabytes of memory and then like the actual system used like 70 of those oh, so we is got the same color one terabyte no it's a little darker it just couldn't have come in better the main language. Oh, it sounds key. so clear my speaker is a little blown to my other one but i added with headphones anyway so it's really not that big of a deal all right guys that's officially it thank you guys for sticking around through this roller coaster of a day
<laughs> if you're made it this far we love you guys so much if not it's okay we still love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe turn on your notifications so anytime i post a new video you will be the first to be notified all right we love you guys so much and we'll see you all next time for, for another, another sun kiss day good night guys, guys.